it's Liz Yule from Old Staples Crafts. Thank you for joining me again today. Today I have got a project for you that uses the Timeless Tropicals bundle, uh, but it also it uses the stamp set, which I still haven't finished sticking all the bits on, and the dies. Uh, some of the dies are out because we'll be using them. I have used this bundle before, um, but I thought I would have another look at it. Um, the bundle, or rather the suite, also includes this wonderful... Uh, textured weave in uh, 3D embossing folder and of course because it's now after the 3rd of, Ma of January I can show you the inside of the catalogue so uh, the Tropical Oasis is on page 38 so let's find page 38 and have a look at all this wonderful summery feel uh, it's really miserable here in South Oxfordshire so this is, this is where I want to be. Uh, look at all these lovely colours. Designer series paper. So the 3D embossing folder is the Coastal Weave. And it is gorgeous. Lovely burlap trim. There's memories and more cards. The um, Saddle Brown Stays On Ink currently is not available in Europe. And I don't think it's available in North America either. Uh, trinkets which we will be using. And here's the stamp set. Um, and the dies include dies for these items here plus there is a pineapple and other bits and pieces so this is my card i have already run my um crumb cake through my embossing folder for the sandwich you want the basic platform and the blue embossing plate uh, and if you're using a big shot that is perfect if you are using any other die cutter, then you would need to have a look at what sandwich you, you, you need. The key is for it to be firm, but not impossible to run through. Uh, and that way, it's, it, your, your sandwich is about right. I have already die cut the Aloha. Um, and I thought, I had, I thought I'd lost it, so I did actually start doing more Alohas. This is the mat we're going to be using here. Uh, so I've been die cutting from the centre. Needless to say, as soon as I'd found, as I die cut the first one, I found the ones that I had already done. OK, I'm going to start by showing you how I did the pineapple piece because it's messy. And I always like to get any messy bits done in advance. So I've got my uh, uh, non-stick mat there. Um, Things like an oven liner will do really well, so don't think you have to spend a lot of money. You could just use some cling film or a glass mat, something like that. And of course, I've got my gloves on. Right, now, I actually started by laying down some Mango Melody. Uh, you don't need a lot, but let's just lay down some Mango Melody. And somewhere I have a spritzer. No, me, I put it away, yes. Um, so let's just spritz that a little bit. You don't want too much water. And then I've got a piece of shimmer white cardstock. And I'm just going to pop that in there. That's just to give it a kind of background colour. Uh, but I want the shimmery white because it's a better... It stands up to the um, to the colour, to the, the, the moisture. That's the word I'm looking for. Better. I'm just going to grab myself a piece of kitchen roll because I will need to deal with liquid. So just got that to hand and I'm using some of our sprinkles. They come in three colours, sorry, six colours. Mango Melody, Gorgeous Grape, Bermuda Bay, Daffodil Delight and Melon Mambo. And... and Granny Apple Green. So Mango Melody, Granny Apple Green, Gorgeous Grape, Bermuda Bay, Daffodil Delight, Melon Mambo. I'm going to be adding some more Mango Melody and um, uh, Granny Apple Green. My brain, useless. So just take the top off and open the sprinkle bit and just I just tap the end and add a small sprinkle and then pop this away because you don't want that to get wet or knocked over and then now the sprinkles for granny apple green look orange 
but it's magic. So let's add some of those. And again, I'm just tapping from the end. You don't want a huge number of those because it is quite a green green. And the green that I'm actually using for the rest is uh, Pear Pizzazz and Old Olive, which are colours from the Designer Series paper. So I'm just using the Granny Apple Green because it's the green of the sprinkles. And then you just spray and it just bursts. It's wonderful. Uh, the lid of that has gone walkabout. Oh, there it is. OK, so then all I do is drop it onto a piece of um, kitchen roll so that the worst of the liquid can get soaked up and just kind of leave it really. Um, you can, you know, move it around a bit if you want. So get it moving on on itself um, and then just leave it to dry. Simple as that. So needless to say, I have done a Blue Peter special and here's one I prepared earlier. And I've also die cut it. Simple die cutting, just pop it through your um, die cutting machine and all the little bits pop out. Um, and then I'm going to have it that way up. I've got a piece of soft suede, which again is one of the colours from the designer series paper. I love use, using the designer series paper as a kind of starting point for colours. And then just add a little bit of liquid adhesive, particularly around the outside because you don't want that rising up. But anywhere where there's a reasonable amount of card that you can add some liquid adhesive to and I'm really not using terribly much uh, I'm basically just you know squeezing a little bit and then moving that bit around so the very smallest amount the multi-purpose liquid adhesive is so good you do not need lots uh, fortunately it does dry, dry dr clear uh, so if you do use too much it's not a major issue press from behind and then I'm just going to leave that to dry while we do the other bits because I am going to need to do some die cutting. So here is my pear pizzazz and somewhere I have, oh can't see it for looking, my die. Now I've got an old olive ink pad and I have got a pair of of tweezers and I'm just going to whoops I'm just going to pop that on my ink pad and gently push that into the ink pad but do be gentle you don't want to damage your ink pad and then I'm only using the tweezers to protect my hands a wee bit I'm going to bring over let's pop that that way up Bring over my die cutter, get that out of the way before I put ink all over myself, and pop the paper down and just drop that onto it. Uh, this is great particularly with the magnetic plate because it, it does just kind of stick in place so it's not going to smudge. And then remove that and that. Let's get rid of the die cutter. And whoops. And there we have ink onto our die cut. So it's quite an easy way of getting some dimension. I did try adding it after I um, die cut it. I tried all sorts of things, and this actually was the most successful way of doing it. Right, okay, so we've got our mat, we've got our next layer mat. I have got, I'm sure I had, ooh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to try it with Grapefruit Grove as its background. Uh, Grapefruit Grove is another of the colours in the paper, so I thought I would kind of just go with that whole thing. When I know what I haven't done, I must do. Uh, right, okay, so with this, gosh, I'm all over the place this morning, aren't I? Or today, I don't know what time of day you're watching me. 
I'm just going to trim round my pineapple base. Now you could use early espresso instead. I mean, you could use whatever colour you want as your background. Um, but soft suede is one of the colours, as is early espresso in the designer series paper. I just preferred the look of soft suede, but it's your choice. Uh, equally, you don't have to do the whole smooshing bit. You could just um, cut it in, I don't know, either Mango Melody or Daffodil Delight. Um, but for me, a, ma a, a pineapple is never a flat colour. It's all sorts of colours. Um, so I wanted that whole look of different colours. Right, let's pop that in the bin. Okay, so fairly quick to put together. Let's add some adhesive to our basket weave. And pop that onto our mat. And then this goes onto our slightly askew card base. Let's sort that out because I don't like askew. That's better. A mm, bit better. Let's try that. That's it. Right. Whoops. Okay. So more adhesive on the back of our black. Now I put more adhesive on the um, embossed piece because it's got less surface area because obviously the raised bits will be in contact with the card but the other bits won't. So for the main mat just around the outside and tiny bit in the middle. Then this I am going to, oops that needs to come out, and just kind of shape these a bit just with your fingers so that they're more 3D or dimensional. And then go around the outside leaves just with a bone folder. And again, it's just to give them a bit more dimension. Um, and then that's going to go there. That's going to go that way up there. And I just need to make sure I've got enough space for my aloha. My aloha is three layers of the word uh, just out of black cardstock. And I'm actually going to stick this down first because then I can stick everything else round it. And just a tiny, tiny amount of adhesive again. You want to have a reasonable amount but not too, too much. And the only need, reason you need a reasonable amount is again because we're putting it onto an embossed surface so there's less surface area for it to stick to. So let's pop that down. So that's our aloha. And then we can build everything else around it. So adhesive on my pineapple and pop that in the middle-ish. A middle this way, not this way. And then the leaves again you don't need a huge amount just where it's going to touch and pop that down and then of course lift up these bits again because I've just pushed them down there we go and I need a little piece of tear and tape, whoops, which is deciding not to come off its hook. So just, I don't know, inch and a quarter, inch, yeah, inch and a quarter, thereabouts. Pop that there. And then I've got a piece of the braided trim that is part of the suite. And I'm just going to feather out the ends and stick that down. Now do remember if you've enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and also if you would like to see more if you subscribe and then particularly if you hit the notification bell you'll be notified when I post another video um, so you won't miss out on everything but definitely su subscribe and then you will 
see when you go into YouTube that I've posted again. Um, and then glue dot onto one of these wonderful tropical embellishments. I think that's what they're called. Tropical o Oasis Trinkets. And there's flowers, pineapples, guitars, um, leaves, all sorts of things. Um, and you get 24, so you get six of each. So that's the basic card. And then I had forgotten that I need to do something for the inside. So I'm going to do that twice because I haven't done it on either of my pieces. So let's get rid of those bits and grab myself the stamp set. And let's see, we'll take the flower and block. And what should we have? Our friendship is timeless. I haven't yet added the uh, sticker to the back of that, but that's all right. So our friendship is timeless because we've got Aloha on the front. That seems a reasonable thing to do. So I'm going to grab my old olive and just make sure it's the right way up because obviously without the sticker, it's not so easy. There we go. And it is meant to be kind of fuzzy. Um, that's not my bad stamping. That's the font. Um, that is how it's meant to be. And then let me grab... I'm actually going to use Grapefruit Grove for the hibiscus. And maybe stamp off that. Ah, no, full strength. And then just down in the bottom corner... Add that and then stick those to the inside of both of my cards because I forgot. I'm just still not in the habit of doing my inners um, and it is what I had said I was going to do. So let's do it. So a little bit of adhesive and pop that into the card. And grab the other card and pop that into the card. And then we are done. So as I say, if you've enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, if you leave those in the comments space below, then I will um, always get back to you. Uh, it may take me a wee while, but I will always get back to you. Um, and... As I say, if you would like to subscribe, that would be fantastic. If you're in the UK and you don't yet have a catalogue, the new mini catalogue or the celebration, yay, free stuff catalogue, uh, there's a contact form over on my website, which is linked below, um, and I will get one of those out to you if you don't already have a demonstrator that you work with. Thank you very much indeed for watching today. I'm just bringing this in so you can see that is meant to be a bit fuzzy. Um, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.